Ace Dampers, it's Gainer again, um, and I'm coming back with our weekly sketch. I love to do these, and I, don't, I haven't been able to do many of them just lately with lots of projects going on and stuff. Um, so, and another thing, it will go towards the thank you card, which I'm still making. <laughs> I will get there, probably. I'm going to have to start writing and sending some out, so um, I'm going to show you the sketch. I can't show you a picture of the sketch unless I draw it on here. Uh, let me grab a pen. It's the card is like this with a panel here, three dots, uh, and then a smaller panel here wrapped in ribbon with a bow, <laughs> crude drawing, and then an oval. So that's the sketch for week 49. So that's what the card sketch is this week. <laughs> so crude. I should have a picture. Uh, or I should do a black and white copy. But uh, And I'm using the needle and thread again. I, la I absolutely love this set. Now I've never been a cross stitcher. But I absolutely adore this set. It's just so beautiful. Um, and these flowers really do stamp like they've been stitched. It's uh, unbelievable. So... We're using that one again. I'm going to be using two colours, but I know you girls love Night of Navy. So do I. So I thought I'd do this one for you. But look at the detail on the flowers. Just beautiful. I did make a bit of a boo-boo there, but my ovals are now... And you can just make out the three navy dots. I've got these spare love arts from previous cards. I won't throw them. Gorgeous little eighth of an inch uh, ribbon there, which is stamping up, but I think it might have retired. And then inside I've put sending you happiness and love with three beautiful butterflies. So I'm going to show you how I made it. It's just gorgeous. So the only stamping really is on the inside, on our oval and this panel here. I could have just added another piece of designer series paper, but... Uh, why not stamp something yourself instead of little the shortcuts? So, the pieces you will need for this card are... I'm using Thick Whisper White. Uh, yeah, Thick Whisper White. Which is 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored and folded at 4 and 1 eighth. Then we've got a piece of Knight of Navy. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. This piece is three and three quarters. It's only giving me a fraction of a border all the way round. You can hardly make out, but um, it just gives me a tiny little, tiny little border all the way around. So that's our piece, and that is three and three quarters by five and a half. Then our large piece is four and three quarters by two and a half. And this is four and three eighths by two and a quarter. I wanted a bigger border on this one. And then this piece is four by four and an eighth, sorry, by one and three quarters. And this piece is four by one and five eighths. Oh, one and three eighths, should I say? But I'm going to trim this a little bit more because I want I want a small border on this one. Yeah, I want a smaller one on this one. So I'm going to take my trimmer. I'll measure it again afterwards. I don't want a big border on this one because there's too much going on on the other card. So what I want to do is what did I say that was? It was four. Oh no, this one is four and an eighth. So I'm going to take this down to four. And it's one and three quarters. Oh, it's not. It should be. <laughs> I've left my piece too big. Four by one and three quarters. So that's right now. Let's see if this is... There we go. There it is. And this... Oh, I've got a bit... No, that's perfect. I will get my tiny little border all the way around there. Just check that. This should be one and five eighths. I think I might have to take a sliver, and I mean a slither off. 
look how minute that was. So yes, we got it. We're getting there now, girls. We're getting there. Oops, there's a little tiny bit piece just sticking off the end there. Want to make sure it's perfect. So the white then is. Three and I'm going to take it to three and seven eighths, not four because the navy is four, and this is one and five eighths. Perfect. So there's that tiny little border all the way around. We got there in the end. Looks like there's a bit of muck on there. If I just turn it over, we're going to stamp on here anyway. So got there in the end and then we just got the two largest ovals one in night and navy one in thick whisper white and they're going to be for our sentiment so we would stamp in stamp in and stamp in we're going to put these together shortly on the inside of our card so some, i love the sentiment in this as well you know, people like you are the, you know, make this world a better place. Absolutely beautiful, which is going on my oval. I'm going to get some scrapping. And I'm going to keep this towards the top so I can add those lovely little butterflies on the bottom. Perfect. Stamping. Oh, love it. Love it. And I didn't realise Night of Navy leaves a pink tinge. Look at that. <gasps> so I'll do my magic trick later with my cl uh, my uh, little items. So I'm going to grab these beautiful little butterflies. I'm going to try and get as many on as we can just along this bottom edge. Turning them each way every time we stamp. Perfect. How cute are they? That is our sentiment. Now with this piece I've got the largest flower and if you look oh it's done it this time. Now look if you, where is it? If you look really carefully there, there's marks there. But I think that's the gap in where the stitching is. So I'm going to stamp off. And that's the way... Oh, well, that's the way my dies. You've got a layering piece, so... Absolutely, look how beautiful that is, the stitching. A stitch, look, see the lines now there and there? I don't mind that. Stamp again. I'm going to stamp off and off and stamp again. Oh, I love it. Clean my stamp. And I, what I did with the balmy blue, this is the leaves, but I'm not going for green on this card, so I went for the balmy blue. And that's supposed to stamp like that. Around the flowers. Giving that beautiful little edge. Isn't that cute? I know you can't see most of it, but it's just there for the colour. Then I grabbed our butterfly with the dotted edge. And I'm just going to fill in a few of these gaps. I'm even going over the flowers, it doesn't matter. Perfect. What else did I add? Oh, the little flower as well. Let me pop this away. So I only used the light little splash of colour there. And the little flower is just as adorable. These two can layer up, see, because that is basically the centre of that flower. So I'm just going to fill a few more gaps. And 
it doesn't matter that they're overlaying just stunning beautiful it's just to add a bit of contrast that you're looking you're making your own design of series paper again so there's our little panel and now I'm going to come in with that beautiful sentiment which is not sitting on my block very straight I love that sending you happiness and love perfect, absolutely perfect and again I'm going to put the butterfly right there. Oh, it's just so cute. One there. And one there. How beautiful. How beautiful. Oh, I think that is just so cute. I love it. I'm a blank piece of card to this in a minute. What a difference. What an absolute difference. So our piece is coming back. We're just going to layer these up, but we're going to add dimensionals and non some half on, half off. Get my glue at the ready. I love the way the two and the stitched ovals. I couldn't have used anything else. Couldn't have used plain because not for this stamp set. It warrants using those stitched ovals. Beautiful. And this is just a scrap piece of card. I haven't cut any other up. It's what I keep on my desk for sentiment, and it was just the perfect width. over this way and this one goes off really quickly so you have to be really careful perfect we're going to tie a bow around this and we're going to add dimensionals down one side love this paper I'm going to run out of this so quick because it's just my favourite two sheets out of the whole pack I love it all but these are my favourite two and because you only get two One's one way, one's the other. Oh, makes me want to cry because I wished we'd had four of each, <laughs> not just two. Not just two. Look at all those beautiful butterflies getting covered over. Oh, but I love this st stitch paper. It's just beautiful. Get a tiny little border on this one. I'm just going to give that a rub from the back. And we can add this to our card now. Making sure. I've got well, it doesn't matter for this piece. border all the way round. Oh, I love it, love it. Now this piece I'm going to add flat and then this one, because we've got a tiny little bit of height, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And if you, if you know ladies that do cross stitching, I'm sure if you sent them this card, you would be top of their Christmas list. I love the edges that you can uh, make sure everything's straight with. That is just perfect. Love it. So I'm going to take my piece first, grab this beautiful ribbon. I might have too much, but I soon have too much than not enough. twisting and I'm going to grab my 
tweezers. And I'm just going to tie another knot because the ribbon's so um, tiny, it won't. It won't look silly with a double knot because it's got plenty. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Perfect, perfect. I'm getting to learn to tie bows, girls, look. Oh, that is just so pretty. How cute is that? Perfect. Nip off the end. How cute! Oh my gosh, I love it. So I'm going to add some dimensionals just down this side. I'm not going to add glue to this one yet. Look how cute that little bow is, it's so sweet. And then we're going to tuck this. side and that going to glue it down the reason for that is because when I add the, my sentiment I'm going to add dimensionals this side and a bit of glue that side so it'll stop that flap from coming open so just two more dimensionals here remove the back end Reminds me of a little face, watch this now. And I'm just adding glue here. Smiley face. And there's his nose. <laughs> so I'm just adding this right about there. So the glue is keeping this side down as well as the other. Gosh, I love this. Absolutely beautiful. We've got these tiny little happiness blooms. Uh, enamel dots I had a sample so I used them on my other one so I'm going to start with the large at the bottom medium and then the tiny one right there because that is where my sketch tells me to pop them how adorable are they just wonderful Love that. And then I've got these love hearts from a previous project. So I've got one, two, three. I'm going to swap that one for a smaller one. Because I might have that one. Find one here. There we go. That's it. Yay! So I'm just going to add a dot of glue. These are extras. It doesn't say to add these on the card. I just like to use them up. Whoops, that's got a bit too much on. Way too much. You rub it between your fingers and it peels off. And it's really good. I even take some and I'm just going to add one up there. My little one is going on here. My other one is going just about there without covering those butterflies up. Oh my gosh, how quick was that? Oh gosh, ladies, I do apologise. I took me ages to do the first. It always takes ages to do the first one. Can I empty my little pot? Ah, 
and bring in my other card just to show you there's those cute little bows and there is my sketch for week 49 OMG I am so chuffed with that it's just so adorable I've got my inside done this is the one I made earlier this is the one we've just done now and we just absolutely beautiful you could add all sorts to the inside you've even got these little butterflies left from the a project from yesterday I think it was you could add a couple of those they're just so cute. Oh my gosh. But I hope you like. I love it. And I'm loving the night in Navy. So I'd love a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. And if you haven't subscribed yet already, please press the subscribe button. Followed by the little bell. Because I do tend to post every single day. Um, if you want to see what I make tomorrow, please don't forget to tick the little bell as well. Because then YouTube will notify you of all up and coming future videos. So you won't miss out. I hope you enjoy. I hope you give it a go. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just stay an extra five seconds or so. I'm going to grab a bit of Wink and Stare up now. This is a new one, so I've got to be careful how I open this. And I'm just going to dot the wings on this beautiful little card. Had a bit of sparkle. Don't want to add too much because, look, I can smudge it easily. Add a little tiny sparkle to you. Little tiny butterflies. I used to add a wink of Stella to everything, that's why Gertie calls me Stella. It's not my name, it's just a, a nickname. Tiny, I'm only dotting just to add a tiny little bit of sparkle. Let's see if you can see that now. There we go. There's that sparkle. Ray, there it is. Absolutely beautiful. So, like I say, thanks for watching. Come back and see what I make tomorrow. Bye.